Hey y'all, today we're making Creole style French toast, also known as Pas Perdu. So let's get started. Here I have some day old French bread that I'm cutting into one inch thick slices on the diagonal. Creole and Cajun style French toast is typically made with bread that's a couple days old. You can use older bread that is hardened if for some reason you have it, but hard bread requires a longer custard soak. I always found it strange that people think Creole French toast is always made with stale bread that's brick hard. You can definitely hard stale bread, but that's not the everyday norm. Now, once we get our bread cut, let's move on to the custard. In a deep dish, we mix together some cane sugar, a bit of self-rising flour, and some salt. Use a fork to kind of combine. Next, we add some evaporated milk. And we mix the wet with the dry until it's mostly incorporated. Then we mix in one large egg plus one egg yolk. The camera battery went out and because I already mixed and put the egg in, this mixing is just for show. Let's add some melted butter. And we want to stir that in. Now, let's add some cognac and vanilla extract. Hennessy is what I use. This is not sponsored, so please use your brand of choice. You can also use brandy or rum. Then you want to mix your custard until it thickens. That usually takes a couple of minutes. You will be able to clearly feel and see the custard thicken. Just like this. This is about an inch and a half of vegetable oil and heat to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, traditional Creole pas perdu is deep fried, not skillet fried like the traditional American French toast. Next, soak the bread in the custard. It only takes about 10 to 30 seconds on each side for the custard to soak into the bread. You want the inside of the bread to be filled with the custard, but not so much that the bread falls apart. Use the tines of your fork and poke into the bread to get a feel for when the custard has soaked through. Once the custard has soaked into the bread, allow the excess to drip off. And then we fry. This batch is my hubby's. And he likes his French toast the color of a pecan brown or a maple syrup brown. This usually takes about three to four minutes per side. You will also be able to tell readiness when the oil bubbles die down. Adjust the cooking time to get the exterior color and interior softness you want. This batch is mine. I like a more golden French toast exterior and a softer, more custard-like interior. This takes about two to three minutes per side. And once the toast is the color you desire, remove and drain on paper towels. The traditional topping for Pas Perdu is confectionery sugar mixed with freshly grated nutmeg. But the syrup of your choice is good too. I promise if you try this, you won't go back to skillet French toast. And there you have it. Creole style French toast, known in these parts as pop hairdo. Perfectly crisp on the outside and soft and pillowy on the inside. Give it a try. And remember, when you mix a little bit of Creole with a little bit of Cajun, that's good eating. See y'all next time.